Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and now we are working in the Preferences Presets tab. Uh, in Presets, you're going to basically find all the different options to be able to set and reset all of Lightroom's uh, developed presets. So let's go through those starting with the default develop settings. The first option that we have is this Apply Auto Tone Adjustments. Now, this comes defaulted to off, I believe, and, and you probably want to leave it off. Basically, what that means is when you first import images in the Lightroom, it's going to apply these auto tone adjustment settings to it, which typically are not exactly correct. So I would say leave it off. Um, you can try it out if you like it turned it on. It's kind of a matter of preference, you know. Uh, that's why this is called preferences. The next option we have is applying auto mix when first converting to black and white. Basically, what this means is when you first convert an image to a black and white, it's going to just apply a little bit of automatic settings to it. Now, I've turned this on and off and actually tested the difference, and it's pretty much unnoticeable. It comes defaulted to on, so I just leave it on. Um, and besides, once you convert something to black and white, you're going to mix a few modifications to it anyway, so it's not a big deal. The next one is pretty unique. These next two options, um, it says make default specific to camera serial number. Now, what this means is basically you can set certain presets that are specific to certain camera serial numbers. So if you, uh, let's say you want to develop your uh, 5D Mark II files a certain way, and you can, you can get as specific as saying, well, this 5D Mark II file with this specific serial number, I want it to import with these defaults. Uh, you can also make it default to different ISO settings. So say, like if you want um, to create a, a setting where if you shoot on 800 ISO, it has a little bit of noise reduction applied to it already, you can make that a default where anything at 800 ISO is going to have plus 20 noise reduction, anything at 1600 ISO is going to have plus 40 noise reduction, whatever you want, these allow you to set those specifics. And here's kind of how it works. To first set a, uh, a default, a specific default to a serial number, you got to select this, hit OK, and from the develop module you're basically going to select an image. This is actually a PSD file, so let me select a raw file. Let's see, here we go. Here's a raw file. So from the develop module, you're going to set up your presets however you want. You're going to come over here to develop, and you're going to hit set default settings. Now, because I have that serial number box checked, it's going to say model Canon EOS 5D Mark II with a specific serial number. Otherwise, it's just going to affect general presets, or the general develop settings. Um, now, if I go back into preferences again, I can select make default specific to camera ISO settings. So now, and, and by the way, I can select both or just one. So if I want default specific to only camera ISO settings, that's fine. If I want both, that's fine too. It just makes it more specific. So let me show you now. If I hit OK, I have my settings all set up here, and I go to develop, and I hit set default settings. Now it says change the default settings used by Lightroom and Camera Raw for negative files with the following properties. So all the, the raw files that are shot on a Canon 5D Mark II with a serial number of this with an ISO speed of 100 are going to have the following settings. Okay. Now just a kind of note, when you're setting these types of default settings, you generally want to make them very standard because these are going to be applied to all settings that, uh, all, all images that are shot on that camera with those specific settings. Okay. So let's get back into preferences. Okay. I'm going to unclick those. Now, this reset is just going to reset all the develop settings. So if you feel like you've messed something up, like with your default settings, just hit reset. It's going to go right back to the way it was when, when you first installed Lightroom. Um, okay. Now, on to the next feature location. Um, this is talking about the location of the presets. Right now, presets are stored in the Lightroom presets folder, and you can see that by clicking here. So if you want to install new presets, a really way, easy way to find that folder is just open up Lightroom, click Show Lightroom Presets Folder, and it's going to automatically pop open Windows Explorer with uh, the Lightroom folder defaulted right here. So you can kind of see, okay, where am I going to put my, pre uh, my, my presets and everything. So here's Export Presets, all your different color profiles, everything, metadata presets. So when you're installing presets, it's really easy to find. Um, now, if I say store presets with catalog, this means that any presets that I'm using um, are going to be actually transferred along with that catalog. Now, this might be a, a good idea, say, if you are working in a studio with a few different editors and you're transferring catalogs from person to person and they might not have the same presets that you do. That way, when they load up the catalog, they're actually going to see the same presets that you use to develop the files and they can use the same presets uh, as well in that catalog. So it's kind of a cool option. Either way, It'll use a tiny bit more space if you have it selected. 
not a big deal if you do or not. I just, you know, it's kind of a cool idea to keep it, uh, you know, selected if you want. So I'm going to have it selected. Now, in this next box, we have Lightroom defaults. This is where you're going to basically reset anything that you feel like you've messed up later on. So whether it's an export preset, a file name preset, whatever it is that you're setting, if you feel like you liked it better when you first installed Lightroom, just simply click right here. Uh, I don't want to reset my, restore my export presets because I've actually made some cool ones on there. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll click on the restore color label presets. It'll say you're about to restore the factory provided presets to the original state. It cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to do it? You hit restore if you want to. I'm going to hit cancel just in case I've actually set some presets there that I want to keep. All right, guys, let's move on to the external editing tab.